Creatine is one of the most important supplements that I take because extensive amounts of research has proven it to be a safe and effective supplement for enhancing muscle strength and size. However, most people don't know that there is an optimal way to use creatine to maximize its muscle growth potential. Did you know that taking creatine can help you preserve muscle during the cutting phase or during weight loss? Stay tuned to find out why and how. I will also discuss the different types of creatine available on the market and the best time to take it. This is part one of the creatine video series where I will examine the sides and outline simple steps to achieve the best results for building muscle, weight loss, and fat loss when taking a creatine supplement. Who am I? Well, my name is Dr. Savali Powell. I'm a professor in bariatric medicine, a clinical weight loss expert, and a registered nutritionist. I've published over 90 papers in nutrition and fitness. And please like and subscribe if you're new to my channel for new videos every week and share them with friends and family who might benefit from them. With your support, I can keep making these free videos to help you. So let's get into it. The liver, kidneys, and pancreas naturally produce creatine, but you can also get creatine from seafood and red meat. 95% of the creatine in your body is stored in your muscles and the rest is stored in your brain and testes. However, creatine is actually stored as possible creatine in these organs. When you take an oral supplement, you increase your stores of phosphocreatine by approximately 30% in your muscles. Now, phosphocreatine is a form of stored energy in the muscle cells. This stored energy helps your body produce another high energy molecule called adenosine triphosphate or ATP. This energy source is then used to fuel your muscles during short bursts of high intensity activities like sprinting or heavy weight lifting. For example, Weight training and other exercises require a lot of energy. Although your body produces creatine naturally, you may have a low reserve of natural creatine in your muscles, which is just not enough to adequately fuel your muscles at the high rate it's required. Therefore, supplementation with creatine helps increase the availability of ATP in the muscle cells, providing your body with extra energy. So to recap, if you take an oral creatine supplement, it binds with the phosphate molecule to form phosphocreatine. Therefore, it can provide your body with rapid energy in the form of ATP for high intensity performances. When creatine is consistently maintained in your muscles through supplementation, it has been proven to substantially enhance power and strength during workouts, leading to greater muscle growth over time. A large review of the most popular supplements selected creatine as the single most effective supplement for adding muscle mass. And to add to this, enormous amounts of research indicate that taking creatine when exercising can benefit your training. For example, taking a creatine supplement can help you lift weights that are up to 32% heavier. Creatine supplementation can also help you increase your muscle gain by 7.2%, especially in your upper body compared to people who don't take creatine. Research shows that creatine helps you gain muscle in several ways. First, it enables you to do more total work or volume in a single training session, which is a key factor for long-term muscle growth. So ultimately, the more you lift, the more muscles you get. Creatine can also increase satellite cell signaling, which can aid muscle repair, healing, and growth of new tissue. Research shows that taking creatine can increase growth hormones, or in other words, raise anabolic hormones like IGF-1, which are important for muscle growth. More recently, scientists have also found that when people take creatine, it helps water enter into their muscle cells. This process can then trigger genes associated with muscle growth, which help muscles get bigger, ultimately leading to more muscle gain. Now, creatine can also help you gain muscle by decreasing muscle breakdown. For example, myostatin is a protein that can slow down protein growth. So by taking creatine orally, you can lower myostatin levels, thereby allowing your muscles to grow more easily. Now, there are also excellent benefits in taking creatine supplements when cutting. The problem with cutting or trying to lose weight is that not only do you lose fat, but you also lose muscle as well, which you just don't want. Now, creatine can help you maintain and protect your muscle mass by drawing water into the muscle cells and preserving muscle fibers from damage. Therefore, creatine supports muscle fiber integrity, reduces the risk of muscle breakdown, and thereby helping you to preserve muscle when you're trying to lose weight or cutting. This is also the reason why drinking plenty of water during cutting 
is so important as it protects your muscles from breakdown or injury from dehydration during the cutting cycle. Now, taking creatine even when eating fewer calories can also help make you stronger and more powerful during workouts. This can help you maintain your performance levels, which usually dwindles while cutting. Now, to confirm this, a study found that taking creatine supplement for four weeks while in a cutting phase and doing intense workouts help reduce body fat, increase muscle strength, and improve power performance. Creatine can also lead to faster recovery post-exercise, which is crucial when you're cutting because your body is under more stress in these situations. Some studies suggest that creatine can also enhance endurance, allowing you to perform better in high-intensity workouts without negatively impacting fat loss. So if you're aiming to preserve muscle mass while losing fat, supplementing with creatine is definitely the go. However, it's important to stay hydrated while using creatine as it pulls water into your cells to help your muscles grow. Now, here are some scientific facts about creatine. Research shows that creatine supplementation can help reduce body fat, especially before and after exercising. There's also proof that creatine can help your body recover after workouts and help prevent injuries, especially when you take it with a protein drink. Creatine supplementation can reduce muscle cell damage and inflammation following exhaustive exercise, aiding in faster recovery. Creatine can boost energy, which will help you stay more focused and alert during high intensity workouts. Creatine is not an anabolic steroid. Oral creatine will not make you fat, especially if you're consuming fewer calories than you expend. One scoop of creatine per day, about five grams, doesn't actually have many calories or very little calories if that. In the first week of taking oral creatine, some people may gain about two to four pounds. However, the reason the scales may have gone up is most likely due to fluid retention, as creatine can cause rapid water entry into the cells. Creatine is generally safe and causes few adverse side effects when ingested at the recommended dosages. Most research shows that taking creatine does not, I repeat, does not cause baldness or hair loss. Creatine supplementation also offers numerous advantages for women throughout their lives by improving bone density and reducing the risk of osteoporosis. Taking creatine is usually safe for kids and teenagers and actually may help them focus on cognitive activities like schoolwork. Taking creatine and doing strength training together can significantly help older adults with their muscles and overall performance. Even using creatine alone without exercise can still benefit muscles and performance for older adults. Well, how much creatine should you take? A typical maintenance dose is around 3 to 5 grams per day, but this can vary based on individual needs. Levels are based on your muscle needs and hormones like testosterone. Once creatine stores are fully saturated, 3 to 5 grams per day can help with maintenance. Now, diets rich in meat and fish have lots of creatine, which can also help with refueling your body's needs as well. Therefore, it is essential to consider these dietary options to optimize your body's creatine levels. However, if you're not eating animal foods and you are a vegan or a vegetarian, you will probably require more than 5 grams of supplemental creatine as you're not getting it from food sources. Also, if you perform high intensity exercises, you can drain your stored creatine very quickly. So you'll most likely need to take more creatine to keep your muscles powered. Some studies suggest that larger athletes may need to consume as much as five to 10 grams daily to keep their creatine stores constant. This is why many athletes use a loading dose of 20 grams per day up to a month. However, doing these loading phases of creatine supplementation can cause diarrhea and stomach upset. However, you can avoid these problems by taking smaller divided doses like 3 to 5 grams per day over a longer period of time. As you can see by this table, there's a wide variety of creatine supplements that are available in the market today. And that's why it's so easy to spend too much money or buy the wrong one. You must understand there is no special type of creatine. It's mostly just clever advertising. I just recently found an interesting study from 2021 that looked at different types of creatine to see which one worked best for muscle growth. Now, the review looked at the cost of each type of creatine for one serving. It showed that creatine monohydrate is the cheapest option, while buffered creatine is the most expensive. However, the review found that all types of creatine increase the amount of creatine in the muscles in the same way. This means that just plain old regular creatine monohydrate 
which is cheap and easy for the body to use, is much better than the most expensive options that claim that they have unique formulas. So if you just pick creatine monohydrate, you can save money and still get great results. Now, I used to believe that you have to consume the creatine as soon as you mix it with water. Otherwise, it would just break down and be useless. However, research has shown that about 95% of the creatine is stable for about eight hours after being mixed with water. And after about 24 hours, 80% of the creatine is still available in the water. Now, based on scientific evidence, best time to take creatine is shortly before or after your workout, rather than long before or after your exercise. This timing will maximize the uptake of creatine by your muscles and enhance performance and recovery. Some people prefer to sit their daily dose, take half before and half after their workout. This approach ensures a steady supply of creatine to your muscles, so you can take 1.5 grams before and 1.5 grams after your workout if you're on a 3 gram per day dose. On rest days, the timing is less critical, but the goal would be maintaining maximum creatine levels in your muscles. In this case, if you're not working out, you can take it at any time of the day, but preferably with a meal to enhance absorption. Ultimately, consistency is a key. Whether you take it before and after a workout or another time, regular supplementation will help you reap the maximum benefits of creatine. So collectively, creatine monohydrate is a supplement that has stood the test of time. It has been extensively studied and the evidence is very clear. Its main benefit is the increased strength and power output during resistance exercise and enhanced recovery. Creatine supplements can also increase lean muscle mass when used alongside resistance exercise. Creatine supplements are considered safe with the main side effect being weight gain due to water retention in the muscles. Creatine monohydrate is an effective type of cheap creatine supplement that increases muscle size and power. Other forms of creatine are not superior to creatine monohydrate. Now, these are not the only reasons. I take creatine supplement. There are many other reasons why. So stay tuned for next week to watch part two of this video series. You may also want to click the link below to download my free weight loss guidebook or watch more videos like this.